dudes with dreads. What's good, everybody? It's Coach Phil with Coach Phil Reacts, and I am back with another video. So, we are now on the defensive side of the ball for the BC Lions, and we obviously are going to take a look at the defensive player of the year, and that would be none other than big number 90, Matthew Betts. Matthew Betts had a big breakout season for the BC Lions. He had 18 sacks, 42 tackles, two special teams tackles, and was a huge presence and very effective for that defensive line. And first of all, that defense is pretty nasty, man. On the edge, everything like that. They're pretty stout all over the place. <laughs> but for Matthew Betts to do what he did, he broke the record for most sacks by a Canadian player. Obviously, in the first couple seasons he had, first two years he was with the Edmonton Elks. He only had two sacks first season, zero sacks second season. Third season, he was with BC for the first time. He had seven sacks, but then he just jumped 11 sacks, man. Just outstanding season he had. You got to give credit where credit is due, ladies and gentlemen. I mean, with all the talent at edge in the CFL, you wonder how somebody like Matthew Best can pop up, but it's just talent and skill and what he's able to do. We're going to be able to see that. So if this is your first time to the channel, run over there, subscribe, hit the notification bell, all that jazz. We also have memberships. If you want to join the membership, click. You are more than welcome to. $2.99 is the lowest membership. It's hollow good. Join us. We got some stuff coming. Working on it, y'all. And uh, also, we have a Shopify store. So if you want to be alerted for new Coach Phil merch that I'll be dropping here soon, or if you want to start with getting your first T-shirt of Coach Phil, you're more than welcome to do that. We also have gift cards. So gift card starts low as $25 and go all the way up to $200. And feel free to do that if you want to. So without any further ado, let's get into the video, y'all. All right, here we go. It's be good to see. I feel like every team has strong defensive ends. And guys move around. Oh my God, look at that get off. He worked hard to get around that edge. It was effortless, but he went the long way to get him. Watch. Number straight up, got around the end. But look how he finishes. Look at the finish. Rounded it out, still was able to get it. He went a long way to get around. Tackle was struggling. I get I it happens sometimes for tackles, but that was ooh, he went a long way to go get it. And that motor was rolling. Wasn't getting nowhere off that one, boy. Oh. Mm. Sling blade. It's Matthew Betts coming in mm -mm. for his first sack of this game. Talking his shit. Wow, Matthew actually talking. That get off. Fake like he's going to go inside, but got outside. Boom. Make him think. Oh, my God. That's disrespectful. They always wonder if, like, defensive linemen have the advantage because they offsides most of the time when they get off. Nah, that's just good speed right there. That's that's great get off game right there. And that's his third sack of the season. That's just buying into everything he's Look at that. Woo. Stanley Bryant. Stanley was laid off the and Stanley Bryant is a goat when it comes to tackle. But, jeez. You got Stanley, Stanley Bryant just looking stuck, man. That's woof. Oh, he ain't going nowhere. Mm. Uh, you got Laddick right here, and you got Betts right in front of him. And it's going to be a two-win game right here. Betts is going to go right. inside. Going up, get around. But Betts went inside, dipped in. That is number four for the BC Lions. Oh, my gosh. The speed. A great game pressure and, Zach and he's 6'3". Oh, right here. A lot of defensive ends try to do the most, but I've seen four straight plays where he's just... He ain't really in a hand combat so far, but he's just he's getting in there with his speed. Mm. And a showman. Oh my gosh. Well damn! After a monster week, Matthew Winnipeg Blue Bombers 90 gets home once again. By God. Oh, he's leaning. To have been around and battled for a long time. This time Sit. That was nice. And down he goes. That was that was nice. Look at him. Sit. Boom. Reacted. He sat for a second. He didn't wait too long. That's just timing. That's film. That's study. Right. Watch. Cam Phillips moving. 
motion right there. But the crash. Cross block. Oh, my God. He, mm. By God. Energy. And this guy has got more tools in the toolbox every single snap, it seems. He's going to go with quickness. He work outside and then work inside. Okay. Sell the outside. Now he's working inside. That's that's tough. Everybody dropping back. Oh, my. Okay. All right. Now you now, 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 now you just fucking with people. Now you're just fucking with people. Hey, you guys will smile. <laughs> okay, Matthew. All right. You bets the QB is being set. Engage. Spin. Oh, the district. Okay, not Kev. Yeah. Bets was all over him. Right, cool. Okay. Okay, respect. 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 Respect, dog. Oh, my gosh. Bull rush. You can't make this shit up sometimes. I don't know if they were supposed to double, if there's supposed to be a chip or something, but okay, Josh, getting in there. Yeah, his arm was hit as he went to throw it. You throw that lateral, it's a live ball. It goes backwards from the quarterback. Get that ball. Previous play. Oh my! The middle though. And they avoid Where can he go? Does Matthew Betts get back on the board here? Three tech, boom, shade and outside shoulder. Inside, he shoots the gap. Working one on it was free. It was free. See what they do now in a second and ten at the BC twenty, their second trip into the red zone. I think that was three tech. It was three tech? It looked like three tech. I could I think it was three tech. Again with Bowie. Oh, he even that was a phantom sack. And he lost five. He got him. I'm gonna drop everybody else in this passing down and see if my one of my three guys can get there. Oh, he came downhill. And that's uh, the little trip, number twelve. Twelve sack for Betts, but the tie cats drive enough. His ankle got him. Full range, an attempt coming up now. With Sean White. Yep. Say thank you to those guys. Keep up the good work. Keep that. I like he can get it on the run game. That run support. This time he gives to Williams again. Lots of lions are there. He's not gonna get it. I like that he's not just a designated pass rusher. He does make a strong effort to be in on the run support. Mm, right there. Proving my point. To run that out, not sit in the curve. Pushing, pushing. Here comes Betts. Boom. Betts trying to hop on him, still loose. Mark Cordy is eventually here. Okay. All right, Matthew. You cutting up. You know, when we talk to. And it's not wide. Ah, is it wide? Yeah, he went wide. But turned it tight. Made it tight around the end. Pause. They're sort of standing. Everybody else sitting there pointing. You better follow the ball. This was BC's M.O. We're going to make you run to us. We're not going to chase you. We're going to swarm you, but we're going to make you run into us. You're not, you're not going to run. I mentioned it before in, the, in the, this reaction. Uh, go check that one out as well. Uh, they boxed him in, but it was a, it was a funny way of boxing. Like he, they made him lose yards. Oh, my God. They made Trey lose yards, but they made Trey where you knew that had to be a great film study from the defense to see him do his little Russell Wilson, Rolly Dervis shit and box him in and run right into him. 
through Furlan. It, that was a juggernaut like rush. Mm. Adding linebacker Bola Combo to the mix here. Over with the devil is a lie. Second and seven. Uh oh. Matthew oh. Right there, and the ball is fumbled. Sioni Jahama recovers. Sioni. I'm going to get to Sioni soon. I'm gonna get you ooze. Right, right that's what I'm talking about. Run into, make him run into you. I'm not letting Yoshi tackle me for shit. I'm, I'm falling to the ground playing dead. But I'll let him fight another day. RP. We'll have to keep an eye on Caleros. That's right. We don't have Dalton shown in this as Winnipeg takes over. First and ten of the thirty-five. Caleros pulls the ball, looking back inside. Has all of He it. ran down Brady. The tackle, but not before a gain of sixteen to open the first over. Mm. Now puts the heat on Hamilton to do the same. I got scammers. Press coverage on Tim White. Oh my goodness! Flip the hip. Got in there. And Schultz rolling to his right, and it is number Why would you? 17. I love JB, but if the tackle ain't going to stop him and you're supposed to be slipping under, ain't no chance. Ain't no way. Ain't no fucking way. Got him. That's on left. Got a couple minutes. Close up. But look at that. So a penalty flag on the play. Betts gets there and Mayer starts going down while Betts is in contact. Maybe it is his. Let's see what the call is. Looks like it's going against BC. Hey, he's humble about it. Oh, that's the next one. Y'all y'all gonna have to wait on that one. Y'all gonna have to wait. All right. All right, y'all. Let's get into the final thoughts on Matthew Betts. All right, y'all. Let's get into the final thoughts. So. What I took from Matthew Betts' house, uh, Matthew Betts' get-off game is wild. And it's not even like he's doing a thousand moves just to get to the quarterback. No, most of the stuff he was doing, he was just getting around the edge. He was quicker than the tackles. And being 6'3", man, you would think somebody's 6'3". It's just the right height to be either you're going to get stopped by a big defense offensive tackle that's big and wide and he's not going to be mobile enough to be able to go with you or you just you, you tall and lanky. So you're gonna get overpowered by him. But Matthew Betts has a, a really good mixture of height, size, speed, agility, and just be able to get it done. That's a motor. There's a lot of things where you think, oh, it's, it's scheme that gets you, but most of the time it's just good old fashioned fundamentals and shit that gets you where you need to get to. We're not, we don't make it complicated. You know, most defense linemen, it's not complicated. You just gotta know. Only thing really complicated about playing D line, man, for people that wanna understand it, it's understanding. Timing. Timing is everything on a deal when you're playing games. Games meaning like stunts, twists, things like that. It, it's, it's you got to time that stuff right and you got to know the difference between all right, it's pass, it's run. You got to be able to be aware in situations, stuff like that. It's just normal football stuff. But I like what Matthew does. I like that Matthew can get in on the run support. I like that he obviously pass rush dominant, uh, gets to the quarterback, make plays, and uh, he can be he can put his hand in the ground and get his nose dirty or he can do it from a two-point stance he can do a lot of things so he he is this he deserved defensive player of the year obviously rightfully so man he's a a, a guy that's getting 18 sacks man numbers wise great but also just he effective very very effective so you got a game plan for a guy like that so hats off to matthew bat matthew betts hats off to the bc lions per usual and uh we're gonna get on to the next one the next one we're going to be doing tomorrow will be the toy you don't play with i'm talking about javon katoy i i'm i am going crazy over javon katoy <laughs> i i would love to be able to have him on deep in the game and just talk and rap with him because he's six five and shown enough in the nfl he would be a tight end but being able to play in the cfl and be a matchup nightmare outside or inside man that's oof. whether it's in the slot or on the boundary or fields he oh my god he's man i can't wait to do that one so we're gonna get a battery y'all man continue to be great strive for greatest all that jazz and always remember you're a clown nobody takes you seriously